Welcome to the sensual erotic oral experience that can only ever be a caffeinated conquest live stream. Really? That better be Adam. Couldn't have been better timed. Is it him? It is not. Oh well. Anyway. How dare he. Now that my phone is on silent, uh, Adam will be joining us presumably a little bit later. Uh, I'm trying to make a commitment to be on time, gosh darn it, so Adam, we love you. Get here whenever you can, buddy, and just jump on Roll20. Uh, which sucks, I actually wanted to start the session with Adam tonight, but I guess he's going to sleep in a little bit. So, previously, on Wraith of the Oblivion... Uh, Josh, playing Francis Dumas, you finally found your first lead as to who might have been your killers. As you return to the Glass Coffin, the local LGBT club, and found a... Oh, what, what the fuck would they call you? You found a pamphlet for American Vision, in, discarded in one of the empty trash bins in the center of the club. Tom, Clive McCullen, you... Uh, dueled with a, shall we say, fan of yours, who had also attended the local HEMA gym of Atlanta, the Atlanta Freifector, I believe it is called. Uh, and I believe you, no, it was, did you go to, with, with Francis to the, the LGBT bar? Me? No. Yeah. Okay. I that, thought you did. No, what? I was going to the bureaucracy. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess it must have been Adam, and then Adam went go night night in his uh, engagement ring, and, and then while uh, he was walking with you, he suddenly collapsed. <laughs> and Xavier is still You're palling around with his uh his protege. Uh, fuck, I really got to remember my NPC names. His protege. I'll look it up by the time we get to you. The protege, as you as you as you named her. How's everybody doing tonight, chat? Vasil, cool imp, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning to you, Vasil. All right. The world is in flat. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, look who jumped there in. There he is. Adam. Yes, there, the weenie weeaboo himself. Where were you? <laughs> The Winnie Weeaboo? Is that a, my new title? A... That was your old title. What's my new title then? <laughs> is whatever's on Discord? I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, we, we don't show those names. Yeah. <laughs> They're highly inappropriate. The <laughs> highly inappropriate. Read the fifth, sir. Well, now that you're here, uh, I guess you'll start after. All right, glad to hear it, Mazzy. Uh, welcome, Rabbit Pygmy. And... It's nice, nice. Uh, okay, well, tell tell uh, tell Nelly that when she finally awakens that uh, she will be... Her, her presence will be welcomed. Anyway, Adam, previously on Wraith... Uh... Fucking cool him jumping into it right away. <laughs> He's got no fucking chill switch. Cool him, could you, uh, could you give Adam one more time that... Uh... What do you call it? That episode that you wanted him to watch? Because he was asking me for the name of it, and I could not for the life of me remember. It's from Tales it's from the Crypt. Yeah. Right. I, I remember that much. There's like six seasons of that. I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to watch the whole thing. Why not? Why, Why aren't you six seasons, Adam? I don't know. Watch that. There's too much anime. Pretend it's an anime anime. Adam, just pretend it's an anime. Adam, we're, we're in the mid season. We're in between anime seasons. I'm sure you can watch Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> I can't watch all of it though. They say. Operation yeah, Friendship, that. Adam. Oh. Operation Friendship. You you should remember that. That's like every anime. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say, I'll just Google it and save it to a bookmark. Yeah. Fucking Persona cast. Yay. Yeah. Friendship. All right. So tonight, I am actually going to begin with our dear friend John Titus. Now, Mister Titus. If you will recall on the last Wraith the Oblivion, after following Francis Dumas to and his haunt... Asleep. Sorry? And falling asleep. After following him to his haunt at yeah. the Glass Coffin Club, uh, you decided to slumber in one of your fetters the engagement ring 
that you promised to your unknowing fiance. And that is where we begin. So if you remember properly, your engagement ring was in your locker at the gym. What is the name of the gym, by the way? Um, I'm going to think it. Sweaty Moe's. Sweaty Moe's. <laughs> oh. Is Meat Nose Johnny's? Meat. Just because the owner of the boxing gym has a just has a big nose, like a, just a chunk of beat up meat. Oh yeah, it's gross. Yeah, call and I like I was like cauliflower ears. Not kidding. That's also <laughs> a bit, uh, there's even really bad descriptions of boxers. <laughs> what happens to them? Uh, you you've got about five seconds before it's officially sweaty mo's. By the way, guys, I'm trying out a new uh, audio setup. I've actually got my Yeti off screen here somewhere. So uh, let me know how it sounds. Yeah. I do like average Joe's gym. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking uh, dodgeball? Dodgeball. <laughs> I agree. That's, that's, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> he couldn't afford tough guy gym. Yeah. We need house juniors or something like that. <laughs> Sunflowers gym. Uh, juniors. They must... Uh, I mean, if you go to a gym named Sunflowers, right, that means you're pretty tough. Either that or you're yeah. really good at yoga. I mean, it's, it sounds like a Pilates gym. Oh, God. No, sir, that's for uh, daisies, not sunflowers. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Titus, as your slumber comes to an end, you slowly sort of fade back into the Shadowlands. The world around you... Uh, yes. Uh, I, is that, Wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Mazzy? That that it, my audio has more bass, more clear bass. <laughs> got to got to sound good. We want to be professionals up in this piece. All right. So there's anything we are. The blackness all around you slowly starts to fade into this sort of murky transparency that slowly solidifies into the rot and decay of the Shadowlands that you are used to. No, you're used to it. Well, like, like, that you've become accustomed to in the last 24 hours. Like, this is weird. Go back to sleep. It's, it's <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what, what do you feel as... Because this is the first time that you have entered your haunt since you've died. So you come back, and it's not quite the same as you remember. The walls are quite dilapidated. There are cracks Gosh. running like serpents through the concrete, you can only very vaguely smell the, uh, the vinyl of the mat and the, uh, that ever present smell of sweat that just seems to cling to the air. And you can almost psychosomatically hear like the ring of the bell or coaches yelling over the tumult of an active fist fight. What sort of emotions does John Titus feel as he looks upon this place with new dead eyes for the first time? Lust. <laughs> and Lust. Um, do you think like 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 what's it called the uh, nostalgia? There you go, nostalgia. You know, even though like it happened yesterday. But, um, <laughs> no, I haven't been dead for that long. That's yeah, not it's good. Like, Adam, that is. Emotion tie your dark passions. Try again. <laughs> so, what is the what is the first thing that it occurs to John Titus to do? Masturbate. <laughs> John Titus, not Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go suck someone off. Um, <laughs> That's hard, though. Oh man, Adam! Know. If your character had been like a '90s weeb, you're you're you could have just slept in like an old Akira VHS. <laughs> so, uh, uh, apparently, there's like still uh, carnal desires, but what comes out? Or are you talking about like in the Shadowlands? Yeah. Pathos. <laughs> hey. Uh... Corpus. <laughs> Here's a part of me. 
Like, um... I guess I feel regret for, like, like not for... I guess I can't really go back to life. Like, what, like, what could have been? Not, the, not like, the way you think, though. You can come back to life. Just... Give me back the giant... Never, never cared about it. Did you ever get a hundred coins? <laughs> He gets a one up. Dragon Ball? No. I'll do, I'll do a visit with King Kai. Get stronger. That's what it is, right? Um, I mean, I don't know if we have one in this world. No, there we go. It's King we... Kai's boxing gym. Yeah, there you go. Yes. We don't have a. We don't have a big green, so I don't think we have a King Kai. That nostalgia that you feel, that regret, could you expound on it a little bit? Like, um... You could have been a contender. <laughs> Does it fuel your ambition? Do you feel shame for having never reached it in the first place? Does it make you angry? Perhaps it does. It does give you a little bit of lust as you feel that carnal desire to achieve your goals and pursue and do, and yet at the same time, the bitter wall of death stands before you. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking every time he entered the ring after the fourth round, he just every, the, the rest of the match he just had an erection. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's why he has like five melee and dodge two because you know he's actually using three fists. <laughs> He's actually just a super M. <laughs> like, oh yeah, hit me harder, Daddy. <laughs> and now we have that in recording. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> oh, I cut that out. <laughs> no, no, out. it's live. You can't cut that out. <laughs> That's going on your resume. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, tell me, tell me more. Like, yeah, yeah I do. Um. My my, I guess my trainer said it would it would have been it would have been big it would have been um the top the his best student he ever had or um that I had it was a contender possibly that I if you didn't struggle like with all the memories just were flashing through my head like um previous matches and the hard fought wins. And how to? Okay. I guess I, I just feel regret. Adam, do you want us to pull up an emotional spectrum for you to identify? I, I just feel regret. Like what? Uh, what could have been? Okay. Okay. Cool. I was trying. I was checking your passions here to help you out, but regret is not among them. So, as you take a moment to sort of look around, Tom, don't forget you're here too. I know, but Kay. I'm. I'm like, the only thing in my head right now is telling him more. Because Coolum keeps keeps saying it, and it just remind me of the fucking Berserk OST opening. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I am I am not cool enough to get that reference. Here you go, Adam. Use it that. is not a great song. No, oh, so you mean the original anime adaptation? Yeah. Adam, as you are sort of looking around yourself, and you. You begin to hear these muffled voices. They sound like almost like a tin can, so you can clearly tell that they're not on this side of the shroud. Would you give me an intelligence investigation roll, please? And I'll call this a difficulty five. Uh, yes, Cool Imp. Nothing is more World of the Darkness than the movie Grease. <laughs> hey! John Travolta's in Scientology, man. If that's not a fucking chorister cult, I don't know what is. Or like Nafondi choristers. Oh, crap. We're going to get sued now. <laughs> well, what are they going to take? Your emotions. <laughs> yeah, two successes. Two successes. Okay. You figure it must be about six in the morning at this point. So it is way before the gym would normally be open. But you can clearly hear what sounds like two separate voices going back and forth. Ugh. Ugh. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> like, what occurred? <laughs> like, this like, you, never changed. You... <laughs> uh. Turns out this was never actually a boxing gym, just a bathhouse. <laughs> oh, fucking Turkish bathhouse? Uh, the other like, one where you get choked. Can they make out who voices they are from my past? Or like, I can. Uh... That is going to require a perception alertness. You are very familiar with both of these individuals, so this one's going to be at a diff four. Ooh. I got nothing botched. You <laughs> botched? Two successes and two ones. It does just sound like grunting to you. <laughs> uh, until a change in situation? No, this is the first time you've heard these voices over across the shroud, and they sound very alien. Can I make it where they're coming from? Did they try to get closer to it? It looks like they're heading in your direction towards the locker room. They're gonna come and get naked. <laughs> they're like, you remember that John Titus guy? What an asshole. <laughs> Glad he's dead. <laughs> hey, let's make everybody forget about him. <laughs> hmm? Hey, remember that John Titus guy? Always had an erection when he was fighting people. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> what a disgrace to this sport. Adam, okay. Real talk right now, because you have a chance to address us and your fans. Would you like us to distance your brand from the uh, the phallic fellatio, or are you just kind of rolling with that? Well, I, I, the, fans are gonna, like, the fans are probably going to still post it, but I'm I right to be separated from it, yeah. Okay. Until I do something else ridiculous. Uh, you're yeah. He wants more. <laughs> <laughs> just no fan. Just no fan art, though. That's fair. No, that's, no fan art. That's just telling him to send us fan art. <laughs> yes, you can do fan art of the rest of us, especially Tom. I just want to know what you think he looks like. I think Tom wants to know what you think he looks like. He's right there, though. Can't you see him? Ah, oh, yes, of course. No silly of me. Actually, a sentient shade of the color blue. <laughs> the Brumet group. <laughs> no, no, just a sentient shade of the color blue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they are, right? <laughs> what do you do? Come on. Come on, Adam. What does John Titus do? Get in his head. Get in the emotional spectrum of this person. I sent you oh. the thing, Adam. Use it. Did you actually send him a fucking emotional spectrum? Well, it's in the chat. The <clears throat> the wheel of emotions. It was either that one or the Green Lantern or the, the Lantern Core one. Uh, <laughs> that one is a little bit more restrictive. Um, I'm gonna try to get closer to the voices. Just try to see if I can see like see any make out any um any any distinguish of their voice. Wait, Vassal, you imagine Tom as being fucking Minecraft Stu? Or, I think that's his name. Is he Stu? I, I, I don't know if I should feel offended. Steve, Minecraft Steve, I think his name is. I don't fucking play Minecraft, dude. Were you were you thinking of the dad from Rugrats? <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Minecraft. Yes. Minecraft <laughs> Hey man, that dad was real. You mean oh, the dad from Rugrats? Okay, so you begin to head out of the locker room towards the voices, and the voices are growing louder. So you're you're heading towards one another. Uh, as the door to the locker room swings open, you see two gentlemen enter and you clearly recognize them even on the other side of the shroud one you know as joe huntington this is the owner of uh average joe's gym and uh you and he always got along pretty well he'd sometimes let you you know keep training after hours he had a lot of faith in you 
Uh, the guy behind him is Roy Fletcher. Roy Fletcher is the sort of janitor custodian for the place. You knew him pretty well, too. You guys would often banter back and forth when you were hanging out after hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mazzy made an Animaniacs reference, and I fist bump. Uh, I am not upset, Vasu. I am sarcastic. <laughs> and I think copacetic just means everything's okay, doesn't it? So, I Google's like, eh, and if I if I open another tab on here, it's gonna fuck up with uh, OBS. So I guess I won't. Anyway, excellent order. So behind him is Roy Fletcher, the 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 custodian here, and you guys used to banter back and forth when you were training after hours. Uh, used to try to get In excellent order. Sorry. In excellent order. Ah, thank you, friend. Roy always used to kind of try to get uh, inside information about the fights. Truth be told, he might have had a little bit of a gambling problem. And, well, he was in debt more than a few bills to his bookie. Punch him. So anyway, <laughs> you see these two gentlemen walk in. Joe, the owner, under his one arm has a cardboard box. Roy has a pair of bolt cutters. And you hear Roy say, you, uh, you sure about this? And Joe kind of gives a sigh and says, it's been over a week. Nobody's come to collect his stuff. We need the locker space. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought was, I thought it was good for like a day. Or... No, you were in the call for like a week, remember? So it's been about eight days. No, nobody cared about you enough to pick up your stuff. Uh... Not even your fiance. Uh, she knows. Yeah, well, what does that say about her? She's probably a hoe. She's probably getting a train railed on her right now. Ran on yeah. her. We're terrible people. I uh, know we're not. This is a uh, this is the world of darkness, and Charlie <laughs> has made it that uh, nobody cared about him enough to pick up his stuff. So, what can we infer about the relationship? <laughs> It was a one love. It was a. Was that a love yes, pull him by a Greek. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> they begin walking towards your locker, and you can hear the snap of the bolt cutters as it chews straight through your combination lock. And the door to your locker swings open. I, I guess I could. I could do damage to them, but that that would be that would be just bad for them. <laughs> that would yes. be wrong. Damage to them would be bad. <laughs> or you can start a curse. Like, yeah, you don't touch that lock or you die. What? Just use your death touch to kill the janitor. <laughs> it's like, you don't, you don't touch anymore, man. What do you say? In the world like, of darkness, guess... it was the greatest love story. I'm glad that's catching on. We all recognize that world of darkness is... <laughs> Just overly shitty at times. It's like Gotham levels of shit. <laughs> like <laughs> crime alley. <laughs> what do you do? What do you feel, John Titus? Talk to me. They are in not only invading your locker, which is bad enough. They are invading the place where you keep one of your fetters. I'm just um like well, I'm panicking. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, do I do I do damage to, them to let them know I'm still here? Like, yeah. Like, like, oh, he's still here. <laughs> a voice in his head. Any advice to offer? Hmm. In the Are long run, this might hurt his picture? girlfriend, so no. <laughs> no, not this time. I'm so not even at him, in fact. Joe starts, you know, grabbing stuff, placing it in. Uh, he gets kind of a ew as he you think he might have grazed one of your jock straps and keeps stuffing stuff in, and then you see him pull out the ring box. When I see, when I see him grab the ring, to, that's what I'm gonna do. Moliate. You're going to moliate. 
Okay. Moliate is the thing that lets you change your body. Yeah, Moliate is vicissitude for ghosts. Yeah, then it's the other one. It's, um... Ulcerza. Or whatever it's called. Usury? Usury, yeah. Ulcer. Ulcer, I'm gonna use ulcer. Ulcer. You now have stomach pain. Was it was it usury? That doesn't that doesn't sound right. It's like, it's like, it's like, what, usury or usury? No, no, no. I'm not. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Usury. It is usury, and it is that is absolutely what he's talking about. I just thought the the ability that he's looking for. I think it's number three. And number three. Well, let me see, let me see. So he can steal people's life. And you just see him sort of open up the engagement ring, and this sad look comes over his face. It's, oh, that is a shame. He'll reverently close it. And he begins to place it in the box. Do you want to tag his ass with usury three? No. <laughs> oh. Snake bop him. Oh, this is his fault. I'll just, um... Dude, like, I thought I was gonna, like, take it out and just, like, I guess no one's gonna use this anymore. Wait, I mean, wait, what now? He's probably gonna put your, like, throw your shit away, dude. You can't, well, he can't pawn it, it, it off. This is the world of darkness, Adam. He's not gonna keep it as a memento. He's gonna probably, like, pocket it later and sell it. Pay off his gambling debts. Then I can hunt that guy, though. Let's get I can hunt the guy to buy it. Yeah. Uh, Carlo Martino, though, but... Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a possibility that Carlo Martino might get it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to end up in the hands of the Giovanni? Oh, my God. We should totally have Carlo just guest star. The, <laughs> the Giovanni head... Family head? <laughs> he... Yeah, what put that ring me? How much for that ring? Christ a cousin for money. <laughs> that looks like a that looks like, sounds like a meme. Like, like how much for that ring? Call his for cousin it. for money. <laughs> Mazzy, that is the uh that is the good ending for Titus. The bad ending is gonna end up as a butt plug. Is that implying that Bob's demon gets it? I mean that <laughs> That is a possibility, but I was just saying in general. I don't know how many people turning a wedding ring into a butt plug, but, you know, I guess it's somebody's thing. What are you going to do? That in with 30 minutes in when we're still on your character? Yeah. I feel <laughs> like I feel like you have trouble, like, melding with, uh, with your character getting in their head. So every time I ask you what to do, it's always... It, it takes you a while. And I, 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 how can I help ease that transition for you? Because you're an experienced role player. I know you know how to do this. There you go. Yeah, I, um, give me a VR test. Can it, um, can it, um, a VR? I'll do early withdrawal. Just take his life... As he puts it, as he puts it down. <laughs> okay, as he puts it down, you're gonna what? Well, yeah. Well, I guess whenever he picks it up, though, um, like, can I do it before he, like, before he um, grabs it? Like before he grabs the ring case, the. Probably. I'll tell you what. Let's do. Uh, let's do opposed initiative rules. Yeah. Uh, actually, Mazzy, there's uh, three timelines with our. Uh... Or Vampire Chronicle. Yeah, there's one where Fiero uh, lives and wins. There's one where Fiero lives and loses, and there's one where Fiero dies. You have to find the, you have to go to supporters of Patreon to find the, the real answers. Did you just <laughs> graft the Legend of Zelda timeline onto our Vampire Chronicle? Yes. Why? <laughs> Although I'm not opposed to that. Because that way, if we have Carlo guest star, and then he dies in the 40s. That was just one timeline. <laughs> Carlo dies. That's every timeline. <laughs> 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 
Wait, what am I doing? Roll initiative? There we go. Like the cartoon version of Link. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Alright, uh, what is your modifier, Dex Wit? That's a five. Well, excuse me, McNeil. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I remember renting that shit on VHS. I remember owning two VHS sets. <laughs> I have it on DVD now. <laughs> Chaz is the king of the nerds. Nerd. <laughs> it, it's right, it's right fucking up there, too. I just can't get to it because my mic stand is here. Anyway. Uh, Got the DVDs. <laughs> like a baller. Alright. So, this guy is an old boxer. But you are right in your prime, and your reflexes are still honed, and you snap out, so you're going to try and, like, life drain this guy. Yeah. We're going to get you one of those Burger King crown, crowns, Jazz, and we're going to go to Gen Con this year and get something and put it on the, the top of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time, uh, back with, like I think, like, two ex-girlfriends ago, one of them wanted a Burger King crown, so I was going to get one just to surprise her, because I'm eccentric and spontaneous. Uh, so I go to the counter, and I ask the guy for a crown, and I'm like maybe 21, 22 at this point. I will never forget that kid's face, just... <laughs> Can I get a Burger King crown? And Don't make it weird, man. <laughs> I'm on a budget, and we need a role play. <laughs> Can I have a Burger King crown? Don't look me in the eyes. Here, we'll go to Gary Con and we'll break we'll break into Gary Gygax's house and steal one of his D twenties and put it at the top of a Burger King crown. <laughs> as, long as, as long as it's not the Gary Indiana con, because <laughs> that place is awful. Alright, so you were gonna activate early withdrawal. An art that allows Wraith to steal another person's life energy with what of touch. Uh, so you're going to roll Manipulation Usury, Difficulty of the Victim's Willpower. Let's see. This is an obstinate old Republican dude. <laughs> Let's give him an 8. Give him an ulcer. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the evil Neo, instead of like bumping people's oh. hearts to stop them. That'd be a bug. Yeah, got, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, it's not a botch. Now, under second edition rules, it's a botch. He did get a nine. Damn it, that would have been funny. So you reach out to basically, metaphysically slap the ring out of his hand, and no. <laughs> and he takes the ring and sticks it in the box. Oh, Mr. Shadow, do you have any commentary? Well, I mean, this doesn't feed any of his dark passions, or helping him would. No, but if you can feed the emotions of his dark passions, you can still give him temporary angst. Well, there's, what, lust, shame, and... Anger. Anger. Oh. What turn are you going to try to make him feel? Lust. Lust. It's always lust. So, lust is always uh, the right answer. He didn't botch, right? If he's bot, you gotta put some of his life force into the old man. <laughs> he just gets younger. <laughs> like, yeah. like, oh man, this curse rocks. <laughs> it's a curse drain that gives you youth and vitality as long as you have it. But as soon as you get rid of it, you suddenly age the amount of time you spent young. <laughs> Well, Mr. Titus, looks like uh, yeah. looks like you can say bye bye to that ring. It's just as useful as you are now. Hey, you're making me feel useless. It's a... okay, why do you gotta be a big old meanie? <laughs> I don't think you're my friend. <laughs> you didn't help me. I'm you didn't listen help. to you. It's a you didn't listen to me even if I did help. And don't lie to me and say you would have. Well, we both thought we were going to lie. It's kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you wonder why I lie. 
I get it from you. <laughs> you get it by watching you. As as this internal conversation is going on, uh, Joe places the ring in the box and he sort of like goes into the locker to get more stuff. And as he's turned away, you can see Roy sort of reach into the box. Do it. Punch. Pick out the ring. Kick this old man's ass. And right into his cover. You gonna do it to Roy? You gonna try for Roy? You yes. absolutely may try for Roy. Do it. Ask okay. for the extra dice, Adam. Get the extra dice from your shadow. Can I? Can I? Can do I, it. Well, I can't. I don't have. I don't know if I have that power. Uh, what? it's it's a it's a baseline shadow thing. Yeah. You wanna you wanna save that that ring of yours? Well, it's in the willpower anyway, though. Do you do you I get no privacy, to... Cool Imp? Do it, Adam. Take all the help you can get. Just just annihilate this old dude. <laughs> do it. Just Give it to your hate. Off. Let the f dark side flow through you. <laughs> everybody at your virtual table and everybody watching you wants you to do just destroy this old man, Adam. Just rip him a new one. Oh, you're a sanitation engineer, not a thief. Um, y'all go for it, T Tama. <laughs> Give me the powers. Give, Give me the power. <laughs> Very well, since you ask so nicely. How many dice are you offering? How much? Is, how many dice do you want? Five. 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 <laughs> No. Um, How much dice can they give? One to five, but oh, for every every one he gets on one of the shadow dice, gives him a point of temporary angst. Adam, take the five. Temporary. So is, okay, so that means Adam's gonna roll, and then I guess Tom rolled the shadow dice. Uh, no. Remember how we did it last time? You just roll your shadow dice first. Oh, okay. Uh, and when you get ten temporary angst, it becomes a permanent angst. When you get ten permanent angst, you're a specter. Do it, Adam. Take all five. Take yeah, all five. Uh, Adam. Take all five. I'll do, uh, I'll do four, Josh. <laughs> yes. Come on. You want that extra one? Come on. That's, that's, oh, that's the, the willpower now is not the time. Now is not the time to be thrifty. Come on, Adam. Take all five. You must Take not really five. want that ring. I'm your third shadow behind Cool Imp and Tom. <laughs> Look at this guy. He doesn't give a shit that you died. He doesn't give a shit about you or your girlfriend. Get Take all five, Adam. He just wants your money. Well, he wants old your. Old guy. How much did you guys spend on the ring, anyways? Adam, that is ultimate shittiness to take that from you. Do it, Adam. Do it. Come on. Do it. Adam, I'm not gonna pressure you. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, I'm not gonna pressure you, but do it. It's kidding. However, I will pressure you to make a decision. Come on, it's so just been one, one more now. Forty-five minutes on your character. Hey, compared to how long it took to build the motherfucker, that's a that's a. <laughs> Just shit on Adam, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, Yusuf, you have not, sir. For there is always more to go around. You have not missed anything since we started on Adam. Yeah, I'm just about to kill an old dude. Hopefully, <laughs> if he accepts the five. You dice. With, you like with... five dots, take it or leave it. So, Yusuf, <laughs> uh, the custodian at the boxing gym that John Titus used to train at just pocketed one of his fetters, a golden engagement ring. And now the shadow is bargaining with him to give him extra dice to kick his ass. I will only give you five or none. Take the five, Adam. Take the five. Ooh. And then pure pressure, I'll go to, for five. Yes. That's right. Just like Basil told you to. <laughs> uh, All right, so you're gonna roll your five shadow dice first. <laughs> no, the stream. This is where the fun begins. Yeah, he's so many Star Wars references. Can we reference every prequel movie before the end of the session? Oh man, Peacefully. this is where the fun begins. Is that episode two? That's episode three. Episode three, okay, and we've we've already done. What episode six? With the do it? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it might not just be you, Vasil. Sorry, my my connection is doing one of these, so uh, you can blame me on that one. 
Hopefully it's still watchable. Boy, roll those shadow dice, Adam. Come on. Five, what's the difficulty? Uh, let's see. This guy has been a janitor his whole life. I'm going to go for a seven on this one. So five death, seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> so well, that's, that's one temporary angst. Tom, please notate that on his shadow sheet. Uh, and if he has filled his temporary angst, and that's a permanent angst, uh, and it is minus one to success to whatever he rolls on his own. <laughs> Manipulation <laughs> usury, Adam. It's be seven, seven. Let's see. So you got one, ah, two. That's a good point, Cool Imp. I didn't think of that. He does have a gambling problem. But uh, screwing over Adam is funnier, so it's a seven. He he invested XP. <laughs> He's actually a demon possessing a, a janitor. <laughs> that's three successes, right? Minus one from the shadow dice, so that's actually two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, just take one health point. And all according to Kaycock. <laughs> <laughs> Kaycock means plan. So, you sort oh, of... Kind of took the scales. <laughs> What 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 is your emotion as you uh, reach out and touch this guy? Because every time you invoke one of your Arkanoi, you are basically fueling that with emotion? with raw emotion. So what do you feel as you kind of just wall up this guy on the back? Rage. Ooh, that's that's a uh, that's one for Tom. Yeah. That's another temporary torment. Uh, it is not right away. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to roll two dice at a difficulty nine. For every success you get, that's a temporary torment. Mm. Even dice vessel or dice of the shadow can give it to the wraith to get more successes in exchange for temporary angst. But I get, does it help when you have negative successes? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to roll at a diff five and only count the nines and tens if they disappear. Just because I don't want to do the hockey. That's fine. Ah, that's one success. All right. So that's another that's another point of temporary angst for John Titus. He is not having a good day. <laughs> and you just sort of pop this guy on the back and ah stumbles forward and Joe turns. What happened? I, I don't know. It must must be an old war injury. I just. Uh, something hurt in my back, something fierce. Ugh. Do it again. Do it again, Adam. Take the five dice again. Just kill him right here. I mean, do it to his hand that's holding the ring. It's not holding a ring. He, bam, in his pocket. You, you could punch him right where he's holding it, though. Kick him in the dick. You can't punch him, though. It just, it just steals health. Though. Kick him in the dick. Give him an ulcer. Female. Just give him the old one, too. Do it. Also, I is the stream fucking up for anyone else? Mine's getting a little laggy. I, I, again, I think that's uh, that's my connection. Uh. Come on. Come on, Titus. Teach him a real lesson. He doesn't seem to understand. A lesson he'll never forget. He doesn't seem to understand that you're the one who should be messed with. Not just this... Do it Not this uh, memory from the past. Hit him again. I'm going for the head, like the like a headshot. Yeah. Headshot. headshot. Sucking out his, <laughs> sucking out his brain. Right. Now, now, do you want more? <laughs> do you want more power? You mean negative power? No, thank you. There might be a limit to how many shadow dice you can just hand out. As funny as I think it is to just keep fucking them over. Um, All right, fine. I'll roll my fucking two dice again. Because he's still angry. Or does that count? Mm, no. So I am on a completely different client. And yet I don't see it. Okay. No, nope, we're oh, starting. There we go. Oh. Are we back yet? 
I don't like how high those KBS are. I'm thinking it might just be my connection. Oi, oi, oi. Yep, we're back. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you disappointed to be back, Xavier? No. No, no like, when I said no it's for that, I made an ACDC reference. <laughs> okay. So if this turns out well, yeah, the problem was with my OBS client. Uh, if this does not turn out well, then the problem was with my internet connection. No, we were just moving to a discussion, though, about World of Darkness additions and games. And the rise of more people streaming the games. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, alright, before we get into anything else, for, for all of our viewers on YouTube, for all of our listeners on SoundCloud, for everybody on Twitch right now, congratulations, Vasil Koloff, on your wedding today. Oh, man. I believe it's the next day, but the sentiment still counts. <laughs> still, watch it tomorrow. Well, it's, it's tomorrow for him, so pretend I made sense. Just, just live stream it, though, so we can all see it. It's kidding. <laughs> Adam brings up an excellent point. Yeah. Uh, okay, so more people live streaming the games. Yes, it is amazing that more people are live streaming the games, and... One of these days, we gotta figure out how to do that uh, that Twitch team thing so we can collaborate with more people. Uh, anyway, so where the fuck were we, uh, Adam? We were stolen Adam. Yes, the janitor <laughs> just stole your ring. You slapped him with Usury Three, which just if you could see through his shirt, there would be just a wealth of bruises spreading across his back. Uh, but now that you are at full corpus. Your one weapon is gone. Is a fluffy dick. Um, I'm gonna go over to the Josh's club then and just. And just did you help me out. get my ring back? Yeah, and I'll help you <laughs> kick. It, I'll kick, help you kick those those guys' asses. <laughs> you need to chill the fuck out, says your shadow. <laughs> like you, you can't. You're not. The, you yeah. You don't know what he did to me. No, I think I know exactly what he did. I was there. Earlier we were making jokes about what planeteers So we need to find which RPG we can play where each one of us can play a planeteer. Werewolf. <laughs> Werewolf. <laughs> did you just get together and get the, the right of summoning the Incarna? There's mage. Just each one of us has an elemental spirit bound in a ring. I mean, yeah, I guess you could technically conjure Captain Planet in a game of Mage. <laughs> or you could be Captain he's, Planet. He's our collective stand. Yo. <laughs> That's what he was in the show. With your powers combined. <laughs> yeah. What's that freaking uh, Mage background you can get where you you give off the like the energy of a cultural icon? Oh, uh, Legend. There we go. Just Legend 5, Captain Planet. Yo. Just people see you. Just, holy shit, is that Captain Planet? How much Legend is it to be the Ted Turner Captain Planet from Robot Chicken? <laughs> Alright. So... We are glad to be of help, you... He says we help his, his vampire game with race. I just wish we knew Wraith's a little better. Unfortunately, we're <laughs> lagging again, so... Oh, I'm gonna hope that everything turns out well, because this sucks a lot. Big, giant monkey dong. Hopefully, hopefully when we actually download it from Twitch, it'll look okay on YouTube. Huh. To, to quote the writer Alexander Dumas, you can only wait and hope. Basically. Well, that's a quitter mentality. All right, uh, mm -hmm. chat, it's up to you guys. If things start going wacky again, please do let us know, and we'll do our level best to fix it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm actually going to transition off of Adam to Tom. <laughs> Clive oh McCullen. So kind of, as I said, it's about 6 in the morning right now. Give us a, a quick overview of how you spent your night and where you are this morning. Well, I thought I was heading to the bureaucracy to get, like, like, enlisted or something. Okay. Registered. Yes. So, yeah, you're joining the hierarchy, which yeah. the bureaucracy is not far from it. All right. It's all the same thing. Celestial bureaucracy, really. 
I was going to say, what if you end up at the wrong bureaucracy? You just end up in a game of uh, Scion. Damn it. <laughs> Tom's an exalted now. <laughs> oh, no. Exalted, but yeah. I would be down for that. The, the fucking five-point artifact was just a dieclave the whole time. Like, ah, damn it. Happens every time. <laughs> Yo, dieclave would be fucking dope. <laughs> yeah. It's the freaking scion of Kukulin or Kukulins, however you pronounce it. It's Kukulin. Kukulin. Ever since watching the Fate series, I can't get those, like, renditions of those characters out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> They've replaced the actual mythological historical <laughs> figures in your head. You got through the real kids, a girl. I mean, it, it it's about as accurate as you could possibly get. <laughs> King Arthur had kids. <laughs> so did Musashi Miyamoto. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Um, so, uh, you can go get registered. Yeah, basically, yep. and you, uh, you know, you make your way through the big sprawling lines of the Decatur Courthouse. You know, they swear you in, give you the dictum mortem, don't fuck with people. Uh, you know, do what the, the Death Lord says. And they're going to send you down to the train station where the main hierarchy citadel is to... So you tell them you died uh, a violent death, right? You're sticking with Clive's story of my rival bested me? Yes. Okay, uh, then they are going to tell you that your uh, legion is the Legion of the Grim, headed up by the Death Lord Ambrose Walton. Ambrose Walton. That sounds like a plantation owner. Ambrosia Jurton. And uh, they're going to give you your little civil Civil War coin to prove that you're part of the team. Yay. You can sell it now. <laughs> they don't sell it. It's a key item, Adam, and you can't sell it. <laughs> it's stuck in his inventory. <laughs> and, uh, kind of like we did with uh with Xavier, why don't you give me a uh what was it? Charisma persuasion? Charisma empathy. Why do I keep thinking persuasion is a thing in this? Okay, diff. We'll go with the standard six for you. One. Good enough. So you <laughs> get to the main train station downtown. And I should ask, Xavier, you weren't headed this way, were you? Uh, I don't know if I would be. Um, I've got my, uh, my protege with me, and, and I'm still trying to figure out things myself. Uh... Is the voice in your head that wants to kill things? Is it? Is it? Does it make for a better narrative if I was? Eh, uh, I could. I could go one way or the other. It's just when we left off uh, last session, Miles Bryce and his protege were just kind of like dirtling off into the night, and we weren't really sure where we left them. So, what would you like to do? Uh, yes, you're probably right, Vassal. I've played Bloodlines a hundred times. The persuasion feat. Um. I mean, I would probably be uh, looking for who who was it? Because she told me how she died and who I could send her to. Yeah, you guys already met with Sue. Yeah, but then after that, she told me who to send her to. Remember, because she told me how she died? Or no, or she's going to tell me how she died. Yes. She, uh, Sue is on the case for her as well. There we go. On the case. Ugh, I guess I'm just sightseeing. Uh, why don't you... Where everything is. Why don't you give me a percentile roll, and, uh, I'm gonna subtract 20% from your dice. So, if anybody's not sure what we're doing here, this is a house rule I came up with. Basically, from just playing too much Call of Cthulhu, I really like the luck roll in there. So, basically, I roll a set of D10s to 46. set the percentage. If he rolls below me, then we know what happens. 46 slash roll D100. Nope. Ooh. Nope. 
So at no point do you run into Clive McCullen as he is uh, headed towards the Citadel. You sort of talk to the main legionnaires at the gate, and they wave you through, and there's a receptionist, and you talk through him, yada, 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 a lot of back and forth. I was sent to see this guy. And uh, finally, after a long while of talking and waiting room after waiting room after waiting room, you find yourself in front of a very fine-looking oaken desk. Fine for the Shadowlands. In the world of the living, it's a bit decrepit and rotten and old. And sitting behind the desk is what looks like an older, rather plump gentleman in a Union soldier's regalia with this big fluffy handlebar mustache that kind of wraps down both sides of his face. And he sort of looks you up and down. Well, uh, howdy there, young fella. Take a seat. Come on in. Salutations. And I will take a seat. I'm uh, gonna go on a limb and uh, say you're new to town. Freshly hatched last night. Or uh, day. I remember those days, unfortunately. I try to forget. That is a mighty fine blade at your side, son. Do you mind if I take a look? Mm hmm. I'm afraid I do mind. It is very personal to my person. <laughs> I am holding it. <laughs> you I may understand. look at it with your eyes, though. Uh, and he will feel it of... with your eyes. <laughs> if you please, then, would if you would not mind presenting it, I will hold it in in front of my face, just like right here. <laughs> And, and and you see this old cowboy, this old soldier, just sort of like, he, his eyes run across the length of the blade, and as it does so, it kind of does that shh sound effect, and uh, it he built it with his eyes. eyes. And he cuts his eyes, but they're so sharp. <laughs> he cuts his eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's so sharp. Ah, yes, I did that with my teeth. So you died a violent death, they say. What yes. happened to you, if I may ask? A fair and honorable duel to the death. <laughs> Lucky you. I took one of my own cannons to the back. Hmm. Well, I can't say I agree with the use of black powder anymore. Oh, do tell. Well, because we got not black powder now. <laughs> <laughs> we have good powder. I prefer the cold steel. Doesn't let you cheat. If you can, if you understand. Well, that's good for you, son, because you'll find that sort a lot more useful down here than it was in the Skinlands. What are you, uh... Intend to do with yourself now that you are part of our society here. It's true. I didn't invent this guy. He's from uh, Necropolis, Atlanta. <clears throat> or, yes. Well, quite frankly, I do not know what to do here. But I wish to test my metal. <laughs> <sighs> now that son is something I can help you with if you're interested. You'll find life down here is a lot like life being alive, except, uh... People here are older and more stuck in their ways. We got laws, we keep people safe, and, uh, well, there's a rogue element that tries to hurt people. Now, if you were so inclined, we could arrange it so that you could, uh, put that blade to use dispatching said rogue element. How can you trust this man to lead you in any sort of thing if you don't know his skill in combat? That's a good point, voice in my head. Sword hand? <laughs> my sword hand. Oh, man. Like... My name is Mistletane Tom. No. Oh, man. The <laughs> demon blade. The legendary demon blade. But you're misspelled. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> missile team. <laughs> the only missile team I'll accept is the chainsaw. <laughs> This is why people think we're weebs. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. You wouldn't get that if you weren't Unless a weeb. Unless you were a weeb. <laughs> well, no, I, I get that because I hang out with you and you guys put on fucking Magic Girl, Girl shit at Tom's house. <laughs> That's... How dare you call it shit? <laughs> it's just a zombie is a fucking cultural phenomenon. <laughs> Introducing the male as the magical girl. <laughs> For those of you interested, I did go with the Xavier panel at last Gen Con. If I be, may be so bold, Mr. Uh, Ambrosia. <laughs> uh, Ambrose, or Mr. Walton, if you prefer. I am not terribly keen on keeping up titles anymore. That thing... Those things lost their importance when I got the cannon to the back. Or oh, Death Lord, or, well, I'm not a Death Lord. He's not a Death Lord yet. He would say, uh, fuck, he's not the governor. A Necreon of the Grim, if you prefer. If you're one of the hoity toity types that likes to uphold such things. Where do your values lie, and how did you reach this position? Boku no Magica Pico. Oh no. <laughs> you know, Chaz is here with a country we've had. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. What good would asking him do? You can learn much more by dueling with him. I'm getting there, Sword Hand. <laughs> Down, Sword Hand. <laughs> your, blood, your taste for blood is strong. My aching blood. <laughs> <laughs> your taste for blood is strong, and I admire that. <laughs> but I don't have blood anymore. So, he sort of scrunches his brow at the question. Uh, my values? Uh, exactly which values are you talking about there, son? Combat values. Your virtues, your... What is your justice? Show me your honor. <laughs> no, your other honor. <laughs> Obligatory zipper sound effect. Let's see who gets that one. Well, you will find me to be a just and fair man, but uh, stern when it comes to punishment, should it be needed. These are the things that keep us safe in a... Well, look around. Have you seen specters yet, son? Have you seen those horrible monsters? There was an attack in Little Five Points just earlier tonight. Were you there? I was. I was stopping it. You were on the front lines and this man wasn't. What does he know about it? I was on the front lines. Assisting the, the helpless. Then you that is no one's values, Yusuf. Bad. Bad. <laughs> I mean... I'll take it over some other ones. People can be gross. <laughs> Wait, now when you say straight Shota, you mean <laughs> only Shota, or is in not homosexual Shota? Oh boy, things are about to get off the rails really quickly. Uh, th now it's what? a CAFCON stream. This is this is why people watch. This is just like getting a demonetized chest. <laughs> oh, sweet summer child, Adam. We haven't had monetization in such a long time. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen a dollar in, since I was a young lad. That's, uh, see, that, 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 that's, that's fine. I mean, no, it's not fine. It's, it's better than some other things. I want that isolated. <laughs> the context I want of... Xavier's line of saying straight soda is acceptable. Have we not had the fucking jukebox going this whole time? We didn't have it the last two sessions. We did it? I mean, I hear it. Yeah, I've been hearing it too. Oh. Is, I might just be turned off on my settings. You know what? I, I didn't. I didn't. I just started it, so I don't know. 
Oh no, we're we're cool with our NSA guy. He he knows us by now. Hi NSA guy. You subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch Shoda. It's only with Mill. <laughs> Keep no, one of messy. One of the happy Mother's Day. God damn it. <laughs> no, it's one of the people actually in the stream comments is actually our NSA guy. Which <laughs> one of you is it? Hmm. I have my my I hedge my bets on on Capcom Josh. <laughs> Uh, so has uh, Mr. Walton more or less answered your questions, or are you... No, no, he hasn't. You don't know the true metal of a man until you've seen him in combat. Hmm. My sword hand does have a good point. Your sword hand? <laughs> Speak to me, sword hand. I'm sorry. Well, what good do you know about following a man unless you've seen his medal in personal one-on-one -on -one combat? It would be one thing to even see him on the battlefield with these shrouds and shadows and whatever he speaks of specters. You can only know by experience in combat with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. My... Only then are they worthy of following. My sword hands... Hmm... Mr. Walpersia, may I ask you to have a gentlemanly duel one-on-one? -on -one? You wish to duel me? Yes, I wish to not only test my own medal, just I wish to see where you stand as well. You you realize he's got like a different dueling than you, right? Like. Yeah, I mean, you, he might I have know a cavalry, that, cavalry saber, but my one dot in intelligence doesn't know that. Doesn't know that he wouldn't know how to duel. Okay, he might know that, but I mean, like, I want to. He would still press the matter. Very well, I accept. After all, if I am to recruit a warrior, I should not be. Oh, my accent's slipping again. Fuck. I should not be uh, well, afraid. I said, I... To draw the blade beside my comrade in arms. Very well then. What uh, what are the terms of our gentlemanly combat? Hmm. hmm. First one to die. <laughs> then I'm afraid I win. No, no, I didn't say that. that was a joke. <laughs> First one to die. <laughs> hmm. First to draw cor corpus. Tell him whoever loses has to admit their failure in front of everybody outside in the next room. An admission of failure is the only way to grow as a warrior. You have a point, Sword Hand, but that's an admission to oneself. Now, quiet. I'm very wise, <laughs> Sword Head. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how to quantify this in like how one would say like That's fine, just uh, of corpus. Um three points. Well I mean on as uh Thrice blooded. Well, no, I believe, uh, like, actual three points of contact is fairly common in fencing. Not that I'm super knowledgeable of that, but, uh... We should ask our Airbnb buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back from our late night fencing. Yeah. It's like 11 o'clock. Why are you so sweaty? It's a... <laughs> oh, they were just coming back from Average Joe's gym. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, as you sort of put that into in-game terminology, uh, Walton will sort of nod, stand up from his uh, stand up from his desk, 
and he sort of draws this very fine looking long sword. Not as good as yours, but it's it's well made. It's, it's not a five point artifact, but <laughs> you know. Hmm. I will draw my blade from my from my holding position. Do you do the cloud thing and just twirl your giant weapon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just break your wrist in the action. Careful, son. You're going to put an eye out. Are you on your guard, then? Aye. All right. Initiative's Tom. Uh, yeah, I wasn't prepared. You said you were prepared? <laughs> I said Are I was you on ready guard. for anything? <laughs> Hang on. That's dex plus witch, so that's a seven. All right. Uh, in which case, Walton, with the speed of a practice swordsman, moves forward and lunges. And I'm trying to decide if I want him to split his dice pool. He does the anime thing where he disappears and shows up right in front of you. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> original kid. Oh, no, my Washington. <laughs> you, which you are already dead, so that's a factual <laughs> statement. <laughs> oh man, can he say it in a southern accent? Oh, I like how we all tried it at once. <laughs> Nanny? <laughs> cannonball. Nanny's still back. <laughs> well, it's, you say Nanny and then Cannonball. <laughs> and that's how he died. Hmm. Niichisura. All right, yeah, he's going to uh, basically split his dice pool to slice with the sword and then spring back into a defensive posture. How does parrying work? Uh, you basically make an attack roll. You try to beat my successes. And then if you get more successes than I do, he, uh, you get to, uh, the rest comes back towards him as an attack. So I can do that right now? You absolutely can do that right now. I will parry then. Are you going to use your whole dice pool or are you going to split? Hmm. I wanted to use my whole dice pool. Mostly because I don't, because I never split, so I never remember how that works. It's, uh, so you figure out the two actions that you're going to take, or however many, however many fucking it is. Uh, the smallest pool is how many dice you have to divide between all of your actions. Now I think you're going to be using dex melee for both, so. Unless he also wants to ready a dodge, in which that's dex dodge. Can I split it three ways then? You absolutely can. So what are your whatever? So figure out what your three actions are going to be. Whatever your smallest dice pool is, that's how many dice you have to allocate to your three actions. My smallest dice pool. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I understand now. Let me assist you. No, so I'll give you full potential. I'll give you the no, dice below. per action. I'll make you use your bunkai, man. God damn it. <laughs> I know Go. we had a hollow Clive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's not just a hollow, he's a hollow and a full bringer and a Quincy. Uh. No. They give that character a stupid amount of superpowers and then just kept taking him away. Oh, man, I love Castlevania. Thank <laughs> you, the night. So, um, yeah, I'll split it two ways. Okay. Which my smallest wood pool would be between the two dots that I'll be using. Uh, no. So let's say you're going to attack and dodge. Uh, so let's say you have dex three, melee five, for instance, right? Yeah. That, that's a dice pool of eight. And let's say you have dex three, dodge three. That's a dice pool of six. So oh. your six is your smaller dice pool. You're going to divide those six dice between your oh. two actions. We got okay. a question. One's a Castlevania stream. Dude, you have no idea. Did we just freeze? Oh, I don't think so. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're buffering. Fuck. <laughs> What's a Castlevania shame? Well. Dude, I was just And they come back with, and that's what happened. <laughs> Did you want to strike me? Okay, well, if they can hear us 100%, uh, you have no idea how badly I have <laughs> wanted to run some kind of Castlevania-based game, either like a D&D &D or a World of Darkness or something. I would love to do it. Uh, ooh, DCC would be perfect for that, because I have the Transylvania Adventures source book. <laughs> yeah, but I want, to, uh, we want, I want to actually care about my character. Hey, I didn't say we had to do a funnel. Camera back. Um. Ugh. Because honestly, I think that's what I'll do for DCC. Unfortunately, our viewers have no idea what DCC is. Uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Dungeon Crawl Classics is probably, in my opinion, the best rule fantasy rules on the market today if you're into that sort of thing now traditionally the way it starts is if you know anything about osr old school fantasy games you roll 3d6 down the line for strength deck stamina and that's what you get dcc tries to give you a bit more i think our twitch is still fucked up it's still frozen anyway uh dcc yeah it's they they sell it in uh Drive through RPG. Drive through RPG, and I think the the quick start is on sale for like two bucks right now. Anyway, so the way it traditionally starts is you basically roll up four schmucks, four of these fucking suck ass pig farmers, and the ones that make it through their their first dungeon and don't instantly die become your character. Well, I mean, understandably, Xavier and Tom have some issues with that play style because if you really like a character, it's very easy for them to die. Uh, Whereas once they actually get their class levels and become a real hero, they're a little more resilient. But I'll probably... Or your, or your farmer's son, um, like, she could be a character for some reason. <laughs> oh, that, that we just house ruled that because it was funny. Yeah. We, we let one of the animals take class levels. But, uh, so if I run DCC in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak it a little bit so it's more your taste. I'll give you the 4d6 drop one. I'll let you allocate it. And, uh... I honestly really like the funnels. I think they're fun, but if you guys are absolutely against I mean, them... Yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? But I have little character investment. Uh, okay, If would it help if I just let you guys start at level 1 and we say F the funnel? Again, there's there's just better systems for that, right? I, I don't want to I don't want to take away from the system in order to suit my tastes. I, if we just have other systems. Dude, DCC has a lot of great stuff. The the magic system makes it uh, worth it, in my opinion. The spell burn system, the... Uh, what else? The spell dueling has never once come up, but it's fun as shit. The... Oh, what do they call it? When magic can fuck you over. The... Corruption. I think there's a lot of great stuff in there. Yeah. You but know, if I, if I want to play Castlevania, I probably wouldn't use that system just because... It'd be just so damn easy to die. No, like Castlevania. I mean, yeah. <laughs> just Medusa after Medusa after Medusa. If you want to do like a Castlevania HD, that one's my favorite Castlevania. That is also my favorite Castlevania. Wait, I was joking. What are you talking about? A HD, dude. Uh, it was so fun. The one on the the Xbox Live one with with multiplayer. Uh, oh, Harmony Destruction. Okay. Despair. Despair. Yeah. It probably would just be better to do it Hunters Hunted anyway, because uh, White Wolf better crossover. Um. Okay, so now that we've hugely digressed. Yeah. Uh, did you roll your parry yet? No. Oh, right. parry yeah. would be. Okay. Yeah. Did you want any extra dice? No, sword hand. Down. <laughs> My sword hand won't listen to me. I'm not hide. Uh, okay, so... What's the diff on this? Uh, it's a standard six, because you're making a regular attack roll. Uh, okay. What is a man, Yusuf? A miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> what is a who? <laughs> 
die, monster. I got two more successes on my parry. Okay, fuck. The biggest order to have? I think I think my favorite spoof of that is still probably from a Yandere simulator. Was this a was this a split pool, Tom? No. Oh, so you're just doing the parry? Is that your action this turn? I guess so. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, in which case, uh, I'm going to use my my the three dice that I have in check to dodge, which he was going to do anyway. Wait. I dodge yeah, jack shit. Dodge. Uh, strength dodge, plus dodge, five dodge. plus or no strength plus four plus what did we say his fucking sword did like damn it, two time. damage three damage. I think it's changed every single stream. Quick, chat, help! I'll give you. I'll give you the plus three for greatsword. We'll check it out, and I have V twenty dark ages. But just for now, just I'll give you the extra die. So three plus strength plus three. Two? Uh, three plus strength plus four, because you got four extra successes. Three plus strength. All right. Plus four. Oh, as long as we're on uh, the topics of nerdy vampire video games, this is another series that I would love to turn into a, a tabletop campaign. Three plus... Josh, we got to share Steam accounts or something right. so you can play My Legacy of Killing Games. <laughs> plus four, so... They're pretty okay. cheap on uh, Steam right now, aren't they? Usually. I, I remember whenever the big sales happened, they have like all of them for like Ooh, three bucks. Tom, what is that? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Um, boom! I, I need one more. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It cost me like thirty bucks on eBay, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, the original Blood Omen is a fucking bitch. Uh, because of God the licensing oh. problems between, uh, oh fuck, Silicon Knights, which I don't, I'm not sure really exists anymore, and Crystal Dynamics, they can't actually put it up for digital distribution except in like Australia. So. And are you implying Legend of Zelda is only for children? <laughs> Not the versions I've seen. Twilight <laughs> 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 um, so Princess got... Muts. <laughs> uh, I got two successes then. Two... Your dice pool was huge, man! I also rolled three ones. Okay, that, that will happen. So two successes. Walton will roll to soak... Well, all right, so he tries to dodge swiftly out of the way with expert precision reflexes. You readjust the swing mid-arc, but barely, barely nick a piece of his uniform. I was going to say you cut some of his mustache. <laughs> now he is enraged. <laughs> he drops the sword and pulls out an axe. <laughs> all right, uh, initiatives again, my friend. A blunderbuss. <laughs> uh, okay, that's plus... Did I click the wrong fucking thing? Am Eight. I just an idiot? Hang on. Yes, I clicked the wrong fucking thing. So you got an 8. And Walton coming in here with a 14. Holy shit. Well, seeing how easily you parried, he's just gonna go whole hog with a melee swing. I'll parry again then. All right. Yo. Ooh. Oh, you got one success. All right, Tom, you have to beat one success. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll, <laughs> That'll fucking you know, do it. Team. And uh, that's two tens on there with us with my melee specialties. That's eight. Eight. I might kill him. I don't want to do that. So it's eight. Okay. Technically, you can hold back on strength. Technically, that's minus one for the one success that I got. So you're at seven successes. Um, so it's going to be strength plus six plus three. I mean, I only want to do three damage. Uh, did you already do two? No, he soaked it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what was the numbers? I've already forgotten. So, uh, strength plus, plus six plus three. Okay, so five. You plus need a three. weapon. 
to uh, to parry successfully, Vassal. I also think uh, there's a couple other things with it, right? God. Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. Well, yeah. Is Perry at a diff six? Actually, now that he says that, uh, is that the is that the diff of the uh, whatever weapon you're using? I don't know. I don't know if this edition has a uh, harder. Um... Oh wait, two things. And uh, you cannot parry bullets. <laughs> says you. You cannot parry bullets, fireballs, or uh, cars. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're sobbing, then you I'm... can suplex a car or a train. I'm sure at a level, a certain level of celerity, you have to be able to to parry a bullet. Honestly, uh... it's probably in VTM twenty because that's where we get most of our shit. Uh, yes, Yusuf. The voice acting in Legacy of Cain is amazing. Rest in peace, Simon Templeman. Rest in peace, the Elder God whose name I forget. At, at what point can you have celerity and potence to the point where you do the Kinshiro catch arrow between your two fingers and just turn it around? <laughs> With the bullet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Jibril might be able to uh, with Eyes of Blades. I mean, you can do it in Mage. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do it in Mage, but you need... My, my, my you character need, in Mage can do it. Yeah, because you need time, life, and... Uh, what was the other one? Matter? Force. Prime. No, I think you need Force. Prime. You need, uh, you need time to, prime. to cancel out the, uh... Yeah, then you need force to, to... Yeah, you need life to harden your fist and then force to flick it back. Vampire the Rythanine twice dead Ubudu. <laughs> now this is interesting. Someday we're gonna smash all the games together and play them at once. The biggest no crossover ever. Yeah. We'll call it Avengers. <laughs> Not even us. The we Avengers. might. <laughs> we might have been playing parry wrong this whole time. Uh. So this is this one's from Dark Ages. It's not quite V20, but V20 is over there. So Dark Ages is going to take precedence in this one instance. Uh, after successful defense, your character strikes back using her... Or this is repost, technically. After successful defense, your character strikes back using his opponent's momentum to add advantage. To repost, you must have already used a defensive maneuver successfully this turn. A block or dodge applies, not just parry. Okay, fucking, I guess parry is its own fucking separate thing. Son of a bitch. Yay. Rules, why have you betrayed me? That's how we do. Should we just dreamline and go with what we know? Yeah, or just do it. Just know? do it. Keep rolling. Oh. Is it this point that I remember I have the PDF of E20 on my Chromebook? The Padoof. Ah. <laughs> uh, right, Tom, how much damage did you do? What? How much damage did you do? Two. We did two damage. Again? A lot of ones. Do you want more damage? I can no sword more hand. damage. <laughs> Full force. Just an explosion comes out. Well, you did two damage. So one. Yeah. All right. So you nick him pretty deeply there, and uh, this guy knows not to take or not to uh, what's the word? Underestimate you. And he looks sort of looks down at the nick you put in his corpus and. Tilt his head to the side, impressed. Initiative. Well, uh, we do like a. There we go. Go ahead. I was just saying, like he was, like it. We're posting. For Gabriel is kind of like iframes. <laughs> God damn it. I was gonna say when we when we do a monster mash game, we need a, we need a circle, that goes with our characters where one character. He pull next to him like a. We need a Bali who can control the demon, and a demon who can control the ghost. <laughs> In the shell. <laughs> so, I have mixed feelings about using intellect, because it was a 4th edition, you can use your intelligence or dexterity for dodging, right? Uh, mm -hmm. For your AC? Yeah, for your reflex save. We're that talking is. about 4th edition D&D, &D, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, on one half, it's just that, yeah, if you're smart enough, you can just not get hit. But then there's also the being able to move out of the way in time. Kind of like how Spider-Man, with just spider sense, but not the reflexes, would be kind of stupid. 
<laughs> oh, shit, there's a bull okay. coming. The bull Here it coming. is. Dead. V20. Uh, page 275. Parry, a dexterity plus melee maneuver using a weapon to block a brawl or melee attack. If a character makes a brawl attack and defender parries with a weapon that normally causes lethal damage, the attacker can actually be hurt by a successful parry. If the defender rolls more successes than the attacker does in the resisted action, the defender rolls the weapon's base damage plus parries extra successes as a damage dice pool against the attacker. Yeah, that's the way we've been doing it. So what the, what what does Repose do? You you because you have to use your action, or is is, is Perry a reflexive action? I think Repose. I don't ask me to read more than one thing at once. Whatever it, it works as intended. What is your what is your what is your initiative mod, Tom? I I, I have it right there. It's I got ten. Ten total. Yeah. Okay. Uh so Ambrose is going first again. You've got a lot of ones on damage, but can you get it on an attack roll? I never will have an attack roll if I just keep parrying. <laughs> you know what? I know what he's gonna do. Pull out his gun. <laughs> As a tumbleweed <laughs> roll. Uh, he's gonna split dice pool and make two attacks, which I believe works. Yes. The... I'll take it with honor. Yes. Yes. But oh, you can't... Yeah. Yeah, this isn't vampire, so you can't do celerity action to answer the dice pools. All right. Uh, is, first... he gonna, is he going to sword and then just smack him with the other? First attack. Against Tom. With two successes. Are you going to uh, do anything to that? Well, I think uh, he would also parry as, a, as per tradition. Are you going to cut your dice pool in half? I don't think he would. He... Yeah. The double parry. Okay, once the again. The double parry. The guy. <laughs> I'm just Jin at this point. Or yeah. Hawk. Yeah. Counter. Counter. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Play Blue Jin. I'm just like, haha, this isn't safe. You fucked up. Same. You attack me, but I hit you first. Okay, uh, so I have nine dots in these, or in this split, so that means I can divide it four and four? Uh, you can go four and five, or ah. you can go three and six, or two and seven, however you want. I will go... I will go five and four. All right, bring it on. Oh, that's not the right numbers. I almost did five difficulty nine. <laughs> Again, in earlier editions, the the difficulty for weapons was Ooh. higher or lower. Ooh, that's one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. Uh, so smack him. Smack that. Uh, you don't have any extra successes. Oh, no, you do, actually. Uh, yeah. You have two additional successes on this, plus your strength, plus three. So five plus strength. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, doing this one twice. God damn it. <laughs> one, 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 one. Do you want some extra dice, Tom? I got tens on the on these, so that's what two and then two. So I got a total of four on the first parry. Uh, you got five, didn't you? No, because all those tens uh, yeah, got. You have, or... you have three tens and three ones. Yeah. So they cancel out. So that's each a one. That's fucking. That's insane. He soaks he nothing. Odds. So as he brings his blade around and pivots for the counterattack, you are actually able to bring your greatsword, knock away his slice, bring the pommel to his face, and then slice across him. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Killed him. Again. Now I am Double the officer. <laughs> now I am the governor of this plantation. 
<laughs> I, I get the slaves. <laughs> I get the slaves now. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so he sort of looks down at this hole in his fucking corpus. And you can feel, like, this overwhelming swell of pride in the room as it slowly begins to mend and shut itself. Son, I dare say that is some of the most impressive blade work I have seen since I have fallen into this grim abyss. You're quite nimble yourself, despite your appearance. Ah, uh, thank you, son. I do like to flatter myself that the soldier's reflexes have not left these old... Well, I can hardly say bones anymore, but corpus. How can he flatter himself when he's the one who lost? <laughs> Quiet, sword handy. It was a magnificent duel. Yes, but he's yet to admit his failure in your success. How is he expected to learn? <laughs> Give it some time, sword hand. We all learn differently. <laughs> My yeast is rising. <laughs> so then what say you, son? Are you willing to fight for the Legion of the Grim? Was that an ad quote? <laughs> I believe it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, fishes. My favorite OC. <laughs> hmm. That I will, Mr. Walt Brogia. Or Sir Walt Brogia. Or General Brogia. It's Mr. Dr. Professor Walt Brogia to you. <laughs> excellent, son. Excellent. And he'll sort of sit down at his desk. Now, uh... From here on out, we'll get you outfitted with a nice set of soul steel plate mail and uh, have you attend. Have you attend. <laughs> Do you. Ma is that an in character noise? Yes. <laughs> uh, he is finally. I really hope I didn't brush the mic too bad there. He, he sort of. Looks at you funny for a second. Don't embarrass yourself. Are you feeling well, son? <laughs> Ecstatic, sir. Is this how a champion holds themselves? As a... like a child. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, son, we will get you fitted for a set of soul steel plate mail and have you attached to one of the Legion Air Patrols. Now, uh, we don't just send anyone into the labyrinth on their first day, but if you continue to show as much promise as you have now, and I have very little doubt that you shall, you may even consider a career as a doomslayer, hunting the specters on their own turf. How does that sound to you? Oh, you're doing much better than he's doing already. That that's a pretty that's a pretty metal name for a for a platoon. The Doom Slayer. <laughs> Sounds like a doom metal band that sings songs about Conan the Barbarian. It would be my honor to slay the enemies within within their own turf. Uh, okay. To protect those who cannot uh, to protect themselves. Isn't that right, Sword Hand? <laughs> so we're like, no, fuck you, dude. <laughs> so at this point, you are going to see a man about a metal suit, Mr. Miles Bryce. Oh, Mr. Oh, Miles boy. Bryce is the man about the metal suit. <laughs> <laughs> I was put into this position. I don't know how. <laughs> you just that picture of the dog is like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, boy, get over here. <laughs> boy. Boy. Yeah. That's what you can be doing here. Come back to his name. Like, I forgot your name. Boy, get over here. Boy. <laughs> oh, uh, for those uh, sensitive, uh, we are going to be spoiling uh, God of the new God of War right now. 
not that's not true. That that we that we apologize. No. One more viewer. Welcome, one more viewer. We appreciate right. each and every one of you. That one's my favorite. One more viewer. That's my favorite uh, Daft Punk song. <laughs> oh, hi, Nelly. Congratulations on the wedding. I'm the other hand. So <laughs> you have a sword hand. What's your other hand? Your sheath hand? <laughs> well, no, that hand gets used for something else. You say really? no, dude, F you. <laughs> Become the other hand voice. <laughs> Oh my god, there should be a flaw for, for double shadows. That sounds amazing. That sounds incredibly frustrating. Isn't it great? It sounds like our fucking well, sound have anyway. Two of them. I played four of them already. Like, you're all my shadows. <laughs> got him to stack that flaw on too many times. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Nobody told him he stopped getting the bonus points after a certain point. I got 80 points of flaws. You only get all seven. Shadows. Oh. I guess my blind deaf mute nugget can't do anything. <laughs> oh, you're that one character that Sabat likes to torture. Oh, toy. Yeah, there we go. Which city is that? Montreal. <laughs> uh. They just so... have some vampire. They just like to mess with. Took everything away from them. It's basically like that song "One" by Metallica, where Johnny got his gun. The novel it's based off of. Darkness. Uh, that isn't their best song, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we all oh. know it's Invisible Kid. <laughs> oh, man. All of you, all of you, when the stream is done, go listen to Invisible Kid by Metallica. No. I love, it. love it so much. That's true, all the darkness right there. <laughs> in, in I, the I, real... I, believe, I believe Invisible Kid plays in, like, uh, elevators <laughs> in the world of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mazzy Chart. Okay, for all our viewers on sound or listeners on SoundCloud, Mazzy Chart Czar just said Adam's shadows are so bad that there's a guy down the street that will just yell randomly in his direction. Uh, That's Adam's actual shadow. <laughs> not metaphorical yeah. one. Like, in, like in real there. life. <laughs> Tom, why does your dad hate Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Get down the street. Oh, I like the I like to think that in the world of darkness, that Metallica only released their bad albums like Load and Reload. <sighs> I think you mean good albums. <laughs> All and right. That one album they did with freaking uh, what's his name, the Lulu album. Unimportant. Right. <laughs> so. As we established earlier, you did not run into Clive McCullen as he went to get registered for the hierarchy. Boy, that's going to be a surprise when he comes back a full-blown legionnaire. Anyway, uh, what do you believe that uh, Miles Bryce and... Fuck, did they name her Anne? I think her name was Anne. Anne Rayleigh, right? Anne Coulter? I think it was Anne. Okay. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you believe that you and Anne are doing? It's been a, a couple hours since we last checked in. It's about six in the morning. Or we can rewind a little bit if that's uh, more comfortable. It doesn't matter. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I want to get acquainted with the area. So I have to know my way. As much as I love asking for directions. Sometimes the wrong directions. So where are you headed? Uh, I, I I don't uh is there a food court? I mean there's pro there's several eateries in little five points. Mm. What about big five points? Why does no one talk about that one? <laughs> I think big five points is just the rest of that urban area. And little five points is that one intersection on Euclid and whatever the fuck another street is called. Peach Tree? It's probably Peach Tree. There's like 40 streets in Atlanta named Peach Tree. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go and casually check in on my daughter. Casually. casually. What's casual about it, though? Well, he's whipping his dick out, first of all. 
And I'm just, just walking around, you know, binoculars. Yeah. Put your dick out? You, you're gonna go, you know, keep on your daughter now? What? What is this? Oh, God, that's right, Adam. It's your share. You know? like, go, mm. Adam. You you do it. You, It's all you. No, Shadow. I have surveillance equipment. Duh. No, I don't actually have those. I'm dead. Uh, or can I... Murder the binoculars. <laughs> uh, okay, so if you're gonna you're gonna head to the college, yes. Okay, so at this point, Anne is like, so we're headed to the dorm. Yes, I'm going to see how things are. All right, cool. I mean, I'd offer to let you in, but uh, <laughs> no keys anymore. That uh. Yeah. That... So you just brought that camera with you, right? I mean, I didn't really get a choice. Hey, what do you want to say about the camera? You want to take nudes or what? I don't know what you want to... Shadow, you should know what I want. Why are you trying to be weird? <laughs> You're the one who was asking about the camera going to the dorm, is it? <laughs> uh, but yes, I, I do need to check in on her. as a Well... I don't know why I have my uh, sidearm with me, but uh, I'm sure it would hold some uh, special place in your heart. No guns are allowed at school, right? Uh, that only applies to alive people. And he he was a federal agent. That's true. You're disobeying the laws now. No. <laughs> Walls don't apply to me. Duh, Adam. Um. So you begin to make your way to the campus. And I would like a perception oh boy, alertness nice. difficulty eight. Yeah. You want more dice? <laughs> no, I don't trust you. You might be wanting to peep at my daughter, you weirdo. <laughs> well, I mean, that's his daughter, too. Yeah, why are you trying to be weird? Uh, defeat. Two successes. Two successes. As you begin to near the campus, something just does not seem right the streets are oddly deserted even for so early in the morning you don't quite see uh really a whole lot of people going to work you don't see a whole lot of pedestrians or foot traffic there's this odd stillness that sort of persists for a few blocks near the campus and then when you're about a block or two away instantly you figure out where everybody went and there's this huge crowd just sort of like talking, well, eh, not huge, we're not talking like a rock concert, but mm -hmm. for random people, there's quite a few crowds gathering, talking, rumors being spat back and forth. Around the entrance to uh, Michaela's dorm room is police tape, and there are several officers milling about. Ooh, you want to go see your daughter in uh, an egg? <laughs> An egg. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna investigate. Okay. Uh, how? Walking in. Okay, so you're gonna uh, move past everybody and like phase through the door. You say that's police tape. It, it, I'm assuming the door it's open. Give me a uh, another percentile roll, and I'm going to knock another 20 off your dice. Actually, I'm going to knock 30 off your dice. 44. Uh, the door is actually ripped off its hinges. No. Oh. And oh, no. several feet from where it should be. Oh, man, what if she got embraced? <laughs> man, I'm going to have to put her down. Just like my wife. 
Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what twist? <laughs> Plot twist, my wife was a vampire. I had to kill her. Chad, are we frozen again? I tried listening to Ska once. Isn't, wasn't Hoobas thanks Ska? After a while? Son of a bitch. Well, at least they can hear us. No, the camera stopped, but they can... It's fine. Are we in a funny picture? Well, Xavier's happy. Yes, I am. Okay, I think we'll, I think we're finally good. Fucking, fucking OBS. Well, I don't know. If, uh, yeah, door ripped off hinges, about three feet from the door frame, and at this point, uh, sorry, Michaela is beginning to look a little worried. <laughs> is that my boss? I'll look at I'll look, her, I'll look <laughs> her and say. Do you know anything about this? How the fuck do I know anything? I've been with you. It might be her body. Oh, let's go. She was run over, Adam. No, it ran over by a door. <laughs> she was run over by a door. <laughs> Damn you, Jim Morrison. The strangest thing. You have kids in your doors. <laughs> this is what, yeah, isn't that what killed uh, Samus's parents? That's why she always, you know, shoots at doors. Uh, so you begin to make your way into the dorms, and havoc, chaos. There are holes punched into walls. There are just pieces of the floor completely ripped off and tiles in chunks in a pile against the corner. It looks like a bomb went off in here. You sort of begin to ascend the stairs towards Michaela's dorm, and... While the, shall we say, donor is no longer there, there's a huge blood stain that's sort of drying on the steps, and it looks like somebody was crushed flat and slid the whole way down. Mm. Splatters right. paint the walls going up. And uh, you, you kind of have to, like, squeeze against the wall as coroners come by with body bags moving people out. Um, then can I try to figure out what could have caused this? Um, how would you like to do that? It was a truck she was run over. God damn it. <laughs> uh, perception <laughs> investigation? Right, but what are what, what are you using to de deduce it? What are you looking at? The blood spiders and the other holes in the wall. I see if, what, 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 like, is this... Well, because he doesn't know that there's, like, supernatural creatures. We're thinking, like, is this just a really strong man? Did they have, like, hydraulic jacks in their arms? Um, <laughs> okay, then you don't have to roll for that. Uh, it basically looks like, you know, all the lions and tigers at the zoo just got out and were pissed off all at once. Oh, my. Blood everywhere, damage everywhere. Uh, mm. Should hurry, well, should stop as this pressing as this is, I need to find out where my daughter is. Yeah. Uh, you get to her dorm room. The door is completely smashed, destroyed. Now you can give me the perception investigation roll. No. The room is torn to shreds, and there's no one inside. Uh, diff You're good at this. You're, you have an investigative mind, so there's only going to be a diff five. Oh, three successes. The door was smashed from the inside. Hmm. Where's the roof? Ah. Oh. Was my wife keeping secrets from me? Was I keeping secrets from me? Well, did yeah, I get a recall? See what happened when you didn't visit her? She got emotional. <laughs> she got mixed up with the wrong crowd. <laughs> yeah, dude. She went to join us. X, I'm sorry. Your daughter's a racist. <laughs> no daughter of mine's gonna be getting with any red talons. Um, Why did you go directly there? 
<laughs> what? Where else would I go? I mean, okay, yes, technically it's all bestiality, but red talons are like a step over. Jokes on you. You're uh, she was a uh, black fury. What are they called? Bunyip. Yeah, black fury. Oh, oh my black god. Fury? <laughs> I don't want to think we want to put that as <laughs> Well, you thought wrong, motherfucker. <laughs> right. uh. All right, so uh, that's uh, hmm. I guess I'll go in and see how this would have been done. Like, was somebody thrown out? Was it kicked out? Are you prepared to see the consequences of uh, looking in, though? Is yeah. that your curiosity? Yeah. Again, I taught my daughter to defend herself. So You're like Liam Neeson and Taken. Or Sam Fisher. A <laughs> little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> uh, so... I'm not sure what Miles would glean from the situation that wouldn't be painfully obvious. Obviously, it was massive blunt force trauma. Looks like a fucking wrecking ball. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, but, 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 like, was his door kicked in? Uh, was somebody up against it and then, you know, they were, their body was used to smash through it? Um, it looks like it was kicked in by, like, Hulk Hogan on PCP. Oh man, not Andre the Giant? No. Or him. Andre the Giant. No, Andre the Giant just casually just pushed it. Yeah, he probably just would have just pushed it in. He's also Andre a ghost. Oh man, oh yeah, well, he's dead, yeah. Where'd he die at, though? I think he dies in 1996. But where? But here's the big twist is... The current I think he the year is, in our game is actually 2015. Oh, Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> no, he's still alive if, if this is 1994. Oh no, my well, god. The next person that runs a Wraith game needs to have Macho Man Randy Savage if they run it <laughs> in modern day. What what legion would he be? Did he he died of like a heart attack, right? Well, he died <laughs> because he was having a heart attack while he was driving and got into a car accident because of it. So but we all know, we all know what really happened. Yeah, he saved the world. He stopped the Mayan apocalypse. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Yusuf. I hope we didn't offend you or something. No, he's probably just sad that all the all the good wrestlers are dead That's or killed true. people. All right, so, um. I'll go inside. Do I see my daughter anywhere? You do not. So there's nobody in the room. And furthermore, with your uh, with your perception roll, you also don't see your fetter. Hmm. I will remind you that she was wearing your wife's necklace. She was. Well then. The back and. <laughs> and where would my daughter go? Your That's up to man has so much money. What's up? Oh, you're... Man fucking... oh. Um. Let's see. You're asking Anne that, right? Yes. Uh, uh she sort of stammers. I, uh, dude, uh, I don't fucking know to you. I guess. I guess that's not an option anymore. Uh, did you have any other family? Mm, not since the maybe. <laughs> My family is a really strong term, but I might have an idea. She's probably huh. working so we're all for uncles and aunts. Wait, what, what now? She's all alone we're out there. We're all for uncles and aunts in the area. Miles, oh, yeah. she's all alone out there. Probably working the street for money. <laughs> Boys, in my head, it's only been... How long do I think this has been? Uh, 
Nine months. Perception medicine diff seven. Oof. Do I have medicine? I have medicine. I think the only character I know that's reliably had medicine has been Tom's first vampire. One success. Orpheus, he's got five dots in medicine. Oh yeah. He's 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 hella knows about drugs. <laughs> He's the one who put a bomb in my first character's chest. <laughs> uh, yeah, Which, in true. fairness, I agreed to have it put there. Yeah. We're safekeeping, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you also get a derangement? Yeah, well, no, that, that was that's from... because I, he, that's from when I asked him to pull out my nails and put silver nails in. That's right. So I could fight werewolves. I completely forgot what you... Oh, okay. I. Uh... Judging by the state of the blood spatter that you see, like, as in, and what glimpses you can get of the corpses that are still being picked up, you're willing to estimate between two and four hours ago. Ooh, this is fairly recent. It's working on the streets. Has it still only been a few hours, voice in my head? She wouldn't go to prostitution. That's plan M. And that's only after 36 days. So. <laughs> you're sounding crazy now. <laughs> like straight up that's fucking crazy Miles was a bit um overprotective you're that dad who dropped his daughter off on the first day of preschool and she was all wrapped in bubble wrap <laughs> just, just, just all no, but she probably people... had a knife <laughs> do that, like they, like straight up. That has to be just the joke a parent are doing. Bubble wrap. I, mean, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's better or worse than actually seeing parents having their kids on leashes. Mm. Honest to God, I would rather put my kid on a leash than have some wacko walk off with them and through like out out the Walmart or whatever. That's fair. I don't like it when they give them the kinky leashes. What? <laughs> Have you what? seen those? Please, please. Not on children. No, they'll, they'll, they'll give them like the... You mean uh, like a collar leash? Yeah, with with the studs. No, oh, that's wrong. Like a yeah. Dog toker? yeah. Okay, I, I'm not talking about that. Good lord. I feel like usually when you see a kid on a leash, though, it's usually because the child is out of control and the parent is not putting effort into restraining the child. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm not saying it always happens. I'm saying in my experience, that's what I've seen. All right. Well, then. Clock's ticking. Need to find <laughs> my daughter. All right, Liam Neeson. I'm learning a lot. I'm I'm learning a lot about history from Yusuf today. Uh, okay. <laughs> so at this point, we return to Francis Dumas. Oh boy, I get my 15 minutes of fame now. <laughs> uh, it's already 11:45. I don't know. Did you want to go for another 30 minutes to make up for our technical difficulties, or do you just want to cut it at the normal time? Uh, I, I got to get up early for work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my apologies, as well as what I do. Melinda's just staring at me like I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry for everything I've done in life ever. Uh, She's so, probably mad that you don't walk her around with a kinky leash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know that. It's true. Anyway, you. Oh, uh, Melinda is my lady friend, my girlfriend, my uh, fiance now. I guess if we're officially announcing. Oh. What? what? You just dropping that over stream? Okay. Of course. <laughs> you want to say hi? Okay, she doesn't want to say hi. Fuck you guys. <laughs> this episode's quickly becoming a Jane Austen. It's novel. okay. You're still beautiful. Thank you very much. I have I have tried to get her on stream with us doing something, and she just has no I no 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 interest in it. So one day maybe. 
Ten years is a solid milestone, Glimp. Yeah, congrats, Glimp. Uh, fifteen is minutes he... remaining. Want to explain <laughs> how? Mas has been filing his nails this whole time. So manipul manipulative. <laughs> so, uh, you rematerialize in the glass casket club. You have the pamphlet for American Vision. You do what? I'm probably going to go to their building and see if they have any meetings, which I'm assuming they do. I, I just might punch somebody if I feel like it. Uh, we will be probably calling it here in about 15 minutes, Yusuf, if you want to stick out to the end. If not, I understand. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to do what at this point? I'm going to go see if they have any meetings. I'm assuming the pamphlet has a address on it. Yes, it does. And so... See, I would love that, and I would absolutely, like, be all thumbs up. I don't think she would. <laughs> Melinda, one of our viewers' wife says you should GM a session for us. It could be made. <laughs> it, Xavier says it could be made. Made. You just kind of weeb at us for, like, a couple hours, and you're good. You, you want to see what made is like? I'm pulling out all the fucking books today. Be careful. Uh, Te technically, Tom owns this one. That is I true. Th I think Maid is the most animu game, followed by... Big Eye, Small Mouth? Well, Maid is very animu. I'm telling you, Big Eye, Small Mouth is an anime game. Or, I mean, it is a White Wolf game. We could totally do it for the channel. Adam? Okay, he's right. 14 minutes left. You go down, uh, so you start walking towards the address on the pamphlet and what you find is sort of vassal says melinda please do it uh huh? vassal says melinda please do it I, I apologize i'm probably still mispronouncing your name you get down and you uh you sort of head downtown and it's that shitty part kind of downtown where all the low level buildings are and it's kind of ghettoy and it's you know you ever seen like, here, where we have those tiny little chapels that are in, like, a suite in a shopping center? Yes. It's kind of like that with the cheap little American Vision sign and the... Oh, man. The symbol that looks vaguely like a Senate building. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and spend a corpus and walk through the wall. Okay, uh... So when you actually spend a corpus, it's not just like, I'm invisible. Roo. You're actually like doing damage to yourself. He's like, ah! So, again, tell me about the emotions that you expend. Tell me about how it feels. What part of you is actually damaged? What part of me is damaged? I imagine it's an overwhelming sense of trying to push myself through because I'm going to find these motherfuckers and I'm going to see who they are and I'm going to see their faces and I'm going to... I'm going to bring the hammer of justice down on him. Ah, uh, that's the magic is. word. Are you missing any pathos, my friend? Yes. You get uh, a dice pull of five against a difficulty nine. Bring down the big spoon? Oh, boy. Oh, yes, bringing down the big spoon. Five dice at a diff nine. One success. Unless that ten cancels out that one. It does. Oh, boy, getting two pathos back. Did I get any back from staying overnight in my haven? I don't think so, no. To the best of my okay. knowledge, and we don't have time to uh, look it up. You phase through the wall, and you come to a very quaint little front area. There's a desk with a receptionist behind it who's kind of just filing her nails at this point. There's a, a couple of seats, not very many, but a couple. There is an open door off to one side that sort of leads towards this little office area and you can see there's three or four different offices book or doors on either side uh there's no real noise or any kind of action coming from that sound but there is however a booming voice coming from mm. the door just beyond the receptionist desk Kaboom. it's I'm not uh, it's door. not like she's guarding it it's 
around into the side of the receptionist. Kaboom! That's where I'm heading. All right, now, when you spend your point of corpus to go incorporeal, your incorporeal number of rounds is equal to your stamina. That would be two rounds. Okay, no problem. Not a lot of stamina. (laughs) It probably explains a lot. (laughs) All right, so uh, you sort of walk in, get a quick bearing, realize that obviously on the other side of this is, uh, you know, where the action's at. And you sort of phase through the door. And when you pop out on the other side, you are in the middle of a congregation. Now, it's not huge. Talking maybe 30, 40 people tops. And uh, they've got this shitty little electronic system with speakers. They're sort of booming this main speaker's voice who's at a podium at the front of the room. And he looks to be about maybe early 30s, Back swept hair, clean cut, dark, uh, pointy features, wide, bright, expressive green eyes. Uh, as he sort of like preaches to this congregation. I'm like, oh my god, it's Joel Osteen. <laughs> Oh my god, that's exactly what I that, like. That's the mental image I had in my head, and I was like. Probably shouldn't attach a name to this guy, but I'm I'm so happy that it transferred. No, he's a in the eyes. I'm like Joel Osteen. He's not the worst of them, at least. Definitely money grabbing person, but not in my opinion. Well, I mean, I guys get pretty low. I I took him as a a physical reference, not necessarily a character. I mean, the whole Houston thing was pretty messed up, but. Oh my god, I really need to organize this shit better. This shit bananas. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You got the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of uh way you know, holds his hand out towards the uh the congregation and croons in that way that preachers do, which I think croon actually means sing, so it doesn't sing. Uh some of them do. <laughs> And he says, brothers and sisters, please do not misunderstand this message of mercy. We are not anti-gay. We wish that everyone could be happy. However, the homosexual deviants use the word gay as a clever marketing device to avoid having to describe what they actually do. We are anti-homosexual, as are tens of millions of Americans, because of a particular kind of sexual behavior. For brothers and sisters, if they ever had to actually tell people what it is they do, they know that humankind would turn on them disgusted. And it's basically rhetoric, rhetoric, rhetoric. They eat the (laughs) poo-poo. Basically, yeah. And uh, no less ill-informed. Perception alertness, please. We'll call it a seven because it's a it's a small crowd. Four okay. favor. At a diff seven. I'm gonna spend a willpower. Did you did it? Yeah. That's my rule with one willpower. Oh, whoops. I'm, I, I guess I have to actually look at the... Ooh. Okay, so the good news is uh, ones cannot detract from a willpower expenditure. So you do see it. You see him. And uh, Dominic Fox is sitting in the front row of the congregation. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Part of my my character just kind of starts just cracking his hand. The big boy. Mm, what you gonna water. do, big boy? Oh, now I hear the shadow. Yeah. Is this fucking shadow like super gay? <laughs> <laughs> I know what I want to do. Pegasus. Is just gay. 
I want to use puppetry. Skin ride. Okay. Now first tell me again. How does Francis Dumas feel in this situation? What are emotions are charging up and down your corpus? You're being... Holy fuck, we are locked up as hell. What do you mean? For the video? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's a special this time. It's a this slight... is probably going to be more uh, along the lines of anger and rage. Uh... Definitely like a primal kind of... Probably betrayal. 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 Beach. Okay, you have uh, threaded the emotional needle, so no uh, no rolls one way or the other. So you're going to skin ride, and you're going to attempt to skin ride Dominic? Yes. <laughs> yeah, skin ride that boy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, Wraith is buried under all the other books that I've taken out. Dude, is, Vassal, you are a boss. This is the first time I've actually ever gotten Melinda to look at a, a, an RPG book. Was it made? She read the first page, you guys! <laughs> it says I have a dexterity puppetry against the opponent's willpower. Difficulty is opponent's willpower. Okay. Now, uh... Oh, Nelly. Vasil, give her another hug for me. She is, she is awesome. Uh, now, we know that Dominic has a fairly low willpower, given your, your backstory. Uh, what do you think it is? I'm thinking maybe four to six tops. Well, five is average, right? He's pretty weak-willed. Three. I, I would probably say four or three. If it's four to six, then four. Um, I'm just going to roll a die for myself. Pay no attention. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put him at a willpower four. Okay, so dip four. Dexterity, yeah, was it dexterity puppetry? Has he has he nutted up since then? <laughs> well, what is your plan here? I cannot guarantee a campaign, Vassal. I'm my fingers are crossed for a one shot. And the one shots go with us. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed Sometimes to be a one shot, wasn't it? One to six sessions. Yeah, our our one shots are some other people's campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i got four successes meaning that is how many successes the other person would need to supplant me oh four successes oh, that's actually five my bad and i roll straight willpower oh no that's if somebody tries to kick me out they can't tell that i'm there quite yet i'm not doing anything okay so you're just writing a skin mm -hmm. are you gonna show everybody his butthole <laughs> No, not yet. Just look at it. Look at the gay butthole. Are, are you gonna humiliate him? No, so not yet. Humiliation. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> do I resist? Oh, well, no, you got four successes, right? So you just kind of. Five. I'm reluctant to slay slide on in because that has connotations, but you, uh... Slither on in. Smoothly. I don't know how to say this without making it a homosexual innuendo. It you is, are, though. You are, you are currently inside your ex-boyfriend. You're penetrating. <laughs> if there was any time where this is appropriate, it is now. You're penetrating your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> And uh, I am actually going to call it right there so Josh can get some sleep. Call it right before the climax. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Neglect play. This was a pretty good session. Uh, the story moved forward by Hell or High Water. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the technical issues, guys. 4 XP for everybody. Vote for the bonus. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to Clive. One for Clive. Uh. I'll give it to Clive as well. Yeah, Two for Clive. Hey, Yusuf, it was an absolute pleasure to have you here, man. I, seriously, every single one of you guys, we appreciate having you here, and thank you for sitting with us through all the crap and the bullshit you guys rock. Boom. We appreciate you all, except you. 
You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So is that two votes for Francis, then? For Clive so far. Well, no, I think chat just oh. voted for you. No. <laughs> no, it's votes for Melinda. <laughs> Melinda, you get yeah, XP. Yeah. Level up, girl. <laughs> I'll give her XP independent of you guys. But wait, wait, wait. As GM, your XP is dependent on you running the session. Now, if you knew RPG rules, you'd know that makes no fucking sense. But I'm a roll with it. I mean, I didn't participate so I assumed that didn't make sense. Ooh, I, I got three votes. <laughs> the comeback. Actually, I'm counting four. Oh, no, no, no that's I imp twice. Okay, so three votes for Josh, two votes for Clive. Adam, where's your vote going? Like, um, I was depending between the X and, um... Oh, yeah, X and Tom. But... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh four for Josh. Do I tell him to make it a... Uh, make it a, uh, a stairway. Someone else, else has to vote. Change their vote. To... Well, if I vote for myself, then we're at a hard fucking tie. <laughs> yeah. I vote for you, Tom? Yeah. Ooh. Tom? Will you vote for yourself? No, I'm not a shitty person. I'll vote for Adam. For taking <laughs> almost an hour for a section. For taking up half of the time. <laughs> taking up half the session, yes. That's my backstory. Between the four of us, yes. All right, <laughs> anybody that has not voted in chat that wishes to cast a vote, I'll give you about a minute. I deliberate. We shall be here. Well, don't just go quiet now. Keep shitting on Adam. I need, mm -hmm. I, I need to find a way to fill, like, the dead space between when I say something and when they actually see it. You should just get some castanets and start playing them. Oh man, we all need castanets. <laughs> just, just a fucking dance number? <laughs> Everybody pick a tiny, tiny musical instrument related to your culture and we'll play it. Mine is castanets? Well, no. I'm... <laughs> no, you're, I, I don't think you're Spanish. I well, think you need you're... A... A Yours small is... Italian instrument. Yeah, you get, you get, uh, I don't even see what you do. <laughs> they call me you, Cuban you get, Pete. You get some garlic bread, right? <laughs> you, put some, uh, you put some spaghetti over it and you just kind of play the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Mayonnaise may not be an instrument, but perhaps spaghetti sauce is. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that's no extra votes, so. By the power vested in me, assuming I kept track properly, Francis Dumas gets an extra point. Ooh. Wait, Josh. Yes. What was my XP? Uh, you should have been at 22 if you haven't gotten the extra XP yet. I think he got it once or twice. I got then it. he should be at 23 or 24. Yeah. Okay. I can actually write it down this time. Uh, okay, so real quick. Uh, if... You enjoyed what you just saw or heard. Unfortunately, that goes for YouTube and Twitch instead of just SoundCloud tonight. Uh, please do like and subscribe. It does help us out a lot, and it always gives us warm fuzzies when we see a new subscriber. Uh, if you really, really enjoy our stuff, uh, we do have a Patreon, which you will find a link to that below on our YouTube. Uh, I, God, fuck, I really got a link that here. Shit, okay. Uh, we, got, we got one, just search for... CAFCON Patreon, I guess. Uh, cool is pimping himself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Imp has been such a cool supporter of ours, and, you know, we we take care of our own, yo. So, absolutely, check out Cool Imp. Familia. <laughs> it means family. <laughs> I play the spaghetti in your honor. <laughs> and before you all sign off, we're going to find out what next week's stream is going to be, which will be next week. We'll be doing oh, a yeah. game. I'm going to play some video games. This guy right here, Vassal, you right there, buddy. Bam, fist bump. Do you do you have fist bumps in your country? That I, I Did I just, like, threaten you? I'm so sorry. That, that sounds silly, but, yeah, that, that, that's a fair thing. It might mean something completely different. Oh, like the you... OK sign in, the, in America? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're we're, we're good. <laughs> anyway, there's always that weird chance that a hand motion you make might be offensive in another country. 
We might have been flashing like gang signs to people. I mean, in all likelihood, you are. All right. So the vote ended up in a tie between Persona Five and Fire Emblem. Which... Uh, hang on. Coolant does have a uh, an awesome a question, a good question. Uh, so our Wraith stream is going to be every other week, right? Now, once a month, in between that, on Wednesdays at about the same time, Tom runs his own stream uh, for video game based stuff and uh, you should probably explain it to everybody well it's going to be mostly just the vidja games I don't want to assume Vassal I, I, I don't know and um, it's going to be real interesting because it's going to be co-op counter up on single player games mostly it's like we live on the border of the United States and Mexico, right? And sometimes, even though the countries are right next to each other, you'll mention something that you think a lot of people know, and then people from Mexico will just look at you with a blank look. I guess that's probably where our our nature to ask if this is something that you do people do you're, you're familiar with. Like, 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 like pouring like, uh, nacho cheese into hot Cheetos. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. super weird. that's something people don't do in the rest of the United States, and it blows my mind. You have not lived until you've gotten your bag of hot Cheetos and just smothered in nacho cheese at a That is so good. Time. Melinda looks at me like I'm a fucking crazy person every time I do it. I'm like, shit. I did it in Colorado. Fucking cheese in the Colorado. hot Cheetos? I did that when I was in Colorado. Ranch-style they... eggs? I think you mean huevos rancheros, sir? Oh. I'm always reminded that Coolant is, is also a Texan when he mentioned Bluebell ice cream earlier. The best kind of ice cream. Yeah, but it's not as punny as a... Uh, as Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Guys, Tom has been trying to plug his shit forever. We gotta... We gotta... No, habla espanol. Okay. And the vote ended up in a tie. So I'm gonna let the participants vote on which ones they want to play. Josh, you first. Uh, between Fire Emblem and Persona? Yes. Uh, I'll go with Fire Emblem just because I'm more familiar with the series. All right, X? Uh, uh, I feel like Persona would be less frustrating on me. <laughs> well, we're back at a tie. Adam. Persona. You, you and... fucking weeb, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. We're going to be streaming Persona next week now. Five or four? A five. Okay. We're going to stream the original Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> oh my the God. first one. In Japanese. <laughs> Adam will original, translate. On an <laughs> original PlayStation. Uh, all right. Josh, get some sleep. Guys, thanks for gaming with me tonight. Viewers, thanks for joining us. It blows my mind every single time that you guys would give us a piece of your day to have fun with us like this and watch us do this. We love it. We love you guys. You guys have an amazing rest of your night or day. Uh, have a good one. Stay caffeinated. Anything you guys want to say? No. I'm going to go to bed. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night.